so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys another outfit from the outfit transfer glitch so remember that with the outfit transfer glitch you do lose all your outfits except for only one so before you do it just go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose also you want to go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece doesn't matter which earpiece you buy just go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece and i just want to get this out of the way real quick this glitch will not give you the white joggers you need to have the white joggers before you do the glitch or you can do the glitch with any other color joggers that you have because some people are going to say that um the title said it came with the white joggers or some shit like that but this glitch will not give you the white joggers so if you want the outfit with the white joggers then you got to have the white joggers before you do the glitch uh, like i said you can just use any color joggers that you have but if you don't have any joggers i'm going to tell you the component for the black joggers um towards the end of the video so you don't have to do, do the job to get the black joggers and i'm pretty sure it's going to give you the black joggers but i haven't tried it with this particular outfit yet so once you're ready to start the glitch just go ahead and come to the clothing store set your spawn location on last location go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose since you're going to lose the rest of them so just go ahead and equip the one outfit that you want to keep and then just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character So once you get in here all you want to do is just go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete if it says delete under your second character just go ahead and delete your second character and then two new characters are going to come in and from there you're going to see the edit option under your second character once you see the edit option under your second character just go ahead and select that and when your character is going you're going to get this black alert screen right here that's going to ask you do you want to copy your stuff over just go ahead and accept it and when your second character gets in here if it ended up being a male just go ahead and change it into a female for the female just leave it as a female go ahead and save and continue make a random name for it and then go ahead and take the picture after you take the picture and it's loading it may or may not play the casino dlc trailer whether it plays it or not it's not going to affect the glitch you're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session so for me it doesn't play it but for some of you guys it may play it so if it plays it for you then just let it play out till you load inside a new session but if it doesn't play it um then it's not also going to affect the glitch So once you get spawned inside your new session, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores inside of your session. As you can see for me, there are no clothing stores inside my session, so if there are no clothing stores inside your session, all you got to do is just go to online and find a new session or just switch sessions, and then the clothing stores are going to be inside of that new session. But if you do see the clothing stores inside of your session, just go ahead and make your way over to any of them. So if you don't see no, no clothing stores, just switch sessions or find a new session, and the clothing stores are going to be in that new session, but if you do see them, inside your session just go ahead and make your way over to any of them
so right now we're about to get spawned inside our new session i'm gonna go ahead and open up my map and as you can see there um there are clothing stores inside of our new session so we're just gonna go ahead and make our way over to the nearest one So when you do get inside the clothing store, first you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the top section, go to tuck t-shirts, and buy the blue digital t-shirt, which should be number 75 I'm pretty sure, so just go into the top section, go to tuck t-shirts, and purchase the blue digital t-shirt, which should be number 75. So after you buy that just go ahead and back out go to leather jackets and purchase the black deep belted jacket so just come over here to the um, leather jackets and purchase the black deep belted jacket So this right here just go ahead and buy that after you have that just go ahead and um, back out make your way over to the pants section go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants so just come over here to the pants section go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants once you have that just go ahead and back out go to the um, shoes go to the boots and purchase the white cowboy boots so just come over here to the shoes section go to the boots and purchase the white cowboy boots Once you have that, just go ahead and back out, make your way over to the accessories. And when you get to the accessories, first, you, if your female character has any earrings on, just go ahead and take them off because some female characters do spawn in by default with earrings. So just come over to the earrings, and if your female character has any earrings on, just go ahead and take them off. Once you take off your earrings, just go ahead and make your way down to the gloves and purchase the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves, which should be number four. So just come purchase the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves. Once you have that, just go ahead and back out. Open up your interaction menu, go to your inventory or inventory or however you want to say it, and then open, um, put on the standard body armor. So just open up the interaction menu, go to your inventory, and put on the standard body armor. Once you have that, just go ahead and come save the outfit. When you save it, make sure you save it in the empty slot that's on your main character. So if the outfit that you didn't want to lose in was in slot 20, you'll just save this in a different slot. So just go ahead and save it in the empty slot that's on your main character. Once you save it, just go ahead and go to standard outfits and purchase the Chica outfit. Once you have that, just go ahead and back out, hit your prize button, go to online and go inside of creator. Once you get inside of here, just going to click on create a race and then click on land race. When you get loaded in, just go ahead and click on race details, go ahead and follow the title and the description. They don't have to be anything specific. And then just go ahead and um, take the photo and then put the maximum players on two and then put the root type on point to point. Once you've got that, just go ahead and hit your pause button and warp over to the airport. When you get loaded in at the airport, just click B, go to placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place down the trigger, and then back out of that, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and then back out of that, and then click on the checkpoints. Now when you're placing your checkpoints, the race has to be 0.62 miles or longer, so just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer. Once you've made it 0.62 miles or longer, just go ahead and hit B twice, and it's going to give you the option to test out the race, and you just want to go ahead and test it out.
once you finish the race you're gonna get this completed alert and then you just want to go ahead and accept it after you accept it and you load in just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online and go to choose character Once you get in here, all you want to do is just go over to your second character and you're going to hit delete on her. So make sure you go over to your second character. You don't want to delete your main character by accident. So make sure you go over to your second character and just hit delete on her. Once you do that and you delete your second character, two new characters are going to come in. And from here, all you want to do is just hit B so the game takes you into single player. So when these two new characters come in, just hit B so the game takes you into single player. So when you get loaded into single player, all you want to do is just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GT online, and just go inside of an invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is just going inside of an invite only session. So when you get loaded inside online session, first thing you want to do is just go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So make sure you save the outfit that you didn't want to lose. Once you save the outfit, um, and also when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't mess up when you're trying to merge your other outfits. But once you save the outfit, from here just go ahead and um, have on whatever joggers that you want to have on. And if you don't have any joggers, I'm pretty sure if you buy the black utility pants, it's going to give you the black joggers when you merge the outfit. So if you don't have any joggers, just go to the pants, go to utility pants and buy the black utility pants. But anyway, once you've got that, the, your joggers on, just come over here to the racing jerseys and purchase the Cherry Motocross racing jersey. So just come over here to the tops, go to racing jerseys and purchase the Cherry Motocross racing jersey. And from there, you just want to go ahead and take off your helmet if you have any on or any accessories. And then just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rock star created, go to versus, and start up crooked cops. And when you start up crooked cops, make sure you put the clothing on, player owned, or the glitch will not work. And you want to invite either a friend or a random, so make sure you put the clothing on player owned when you get inside of crooked cops, or the glitch will not work, and invite either one friend or one random. When you get loaded inside, just go down to owned outfits, hit right on the d-pad once. And you're gonna get the um, top section of the outfit and the racing um, racing gloves with whichever joggers that you have on and they're gonna have the red sports shoes or race shoes I'm not sure but from there just go ahead and ready up so when you get loaded inside the job all you're gonna do is just go ahead and open up your interaction menu Go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, whichever one that you decided to buy or whichever one you want to use. And then just go ahead and open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. So when you get loaded inside of um, the game, you're gonna have the outfit on. From here, all you wanna do is just go ahead and save the outfit inside of ammunition. 
once you save the outfit you can go ahead and delete the component because you're not going to need it unless you want to transfer it to other outfits but yeah just go ahead and save the outfit and delete the component if you want to so that's going to be for this video if you guys like the outfit and we're able to get it don't forget to drop a like on the video share subscribe if you already have it and don't get turned off your don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll miss out on further videos